Hello everyone, welcome to Academy Sports and Outdoors Traditions. As you saw in our previous episode, we've expanded the Traditions family beyond just the outdoors, towards more traditional sports and many of them at that. And now we're in Cocoa, Florida at Cocoa High School because the Tigers are a Florida high school football powerhouse. Four state championships. They've gone to the state semifinals for 15 consecutive seasons, all while working out in a dilapidated weight room. The coaches tell us they've seen weight plates break. They've seen barbells break, but the players continue to work hard and be one of the best there is in this football rich state. And the past two Super Bowl champion teams have former Coco Tigers on their rosters. What an amazing place and amazing spirit. It is my pleasure to bring you guys this edition of Traditions. I'm Marty Smith. Come join me. As obsessed as I am with football, I couldn't wait to meet the current coaches of this legendary program. There they are. What's up, man? Welcome to Coco. Ryan Schneider, head football coach. Nice to meet you, nice Coach. Meet you, Marty man. Smith. How you doing, James Foles? Great to meet you, Coach. Great. How you doing? Well, Thank good. you guys for having us. We're so excited. I know that you guys have such a tradition-rich program. What, 15 consecutive regional titles? Yes, sir. Absolutely. That's insane. Yeah. Anywhere, much less in Florida. Absolutely. Tremendous tradition. I know you're sending young men to Power 5 schools every year. What an amazing tradition. It's a special place. Very special place. And I keep hearing about the jungle. Mm -hmm. So I need you guys, look at the smile. You need to introduce me to the jungle. Can you, can you guys show me this weight room? Sure, let's go. All right, let's do it. The jungle, as they call it, isn't the only primitive form of training around here. Nature left its own character builder right outside the gym. They call it Scholarship Hill. This hill right here we call Scholarship Hill. We have over 30 to 40 plus athletes that ran on this hill that played D1 football, wow. FCS football. Uh, we take pride in this hill. We do it in increments. We start off with three. We build up every week and we end up finishing up with 21 or with 23. And we take that same approach on the hill, we take it to the football field as well. So if you finish this hill on this campus, you certify with us. Scholarship Hill. Scholarship Hill. Did you run Scholarship Hill? Absolutely. Started back in the 80s. Absolutely, <laughs> it, man. Absolutely. How do you think you do on Scholarship Hill right now? Ah, uh, man, get Washington. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine running this hill in 98 degree Florida heat but this was nothing compared to what I would see next. How, how do you win? How, how do you manage this? It's one thing to be great once. It's a whole other thing to sustain it. How do you guys do that when this is what you're working with? Our motto is uh, do a lot with less. Yeah. And we take pride in all that. So these are the same ways I was power cleaning and lifting back in the Same place. Same place. This honestly blew my mind. I got to meet the current kings of this jungle. Fellas, first of all, thank you so much for your time. Congratulations on your tremendous success. All right, we're in the jungle. Explain this to me. What goes down in here? A lot of lifting, a lot of hard work, a lot of blood, sweat, tears. Right. We in the trenches, really. As you can see. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I'll be honest with you guys. I walk in here and I know the success you've had as a program. And I walk in here and I go, wait a minute. I'm looking, I'm like broken weights in the corner. I mean, I know y'all are diesel and all, but breaking barbells is next level. <laughs> how, how? We just know we gotta get it, like, regardless of the circumstance, like, because people are put in worse circumstances that are on our team, like, in life. So, like, regardless of the circumstances, it's just this, yeah, we're gonna get to it, regardless. This is what we got, this is what we're gonna work with. We gotta make do what we can, for real. What would new equipment mean to you guys? What would a, what would a better weight room do for the program? Uh, mm. You would know if anything, but. I've been here since eighth grade, you know, yeah. a new weight room and new equipment would do everything. So that's really where it starts, like in the weight room, like building the right habits and like doing things the right way. It really starts like, it's the little things. Yeah. So like it starts with lifting right, lifting properly and having everything. That really 
Have you guys ever been in here when something broke? Yes, oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. The kids are, I don't want to say scared, but they're not confident lifting here because they've seen stuff happen that makes you go, whoa, whoa. You discuss kind of what they come from. Describe for me what you mean by that. What kind of the, background do some of these? The, the city of, all right, so we had a player last year who we were driving back from a seven on seven event. And I never really connected with the kid. Uh, so I made him ride with me in the front seat just to really get to know him a little bit better. And we're driving back from Florida State, from Tallahassee. And you know, it's about a six, seven hour drive. We're driving back and the kid's literally on, in tears talking to someone, trying to find a spot for his five-year-old brother to sleep. And he's just talking to someone about, you know, can you just let him sleep on the floor? And right then it hit me, I'm like, man, these guys are going through a ton of stuff that we don't know. Because if you talk to the kid, you wouldn't even know that they're in that situation. Um, the city of Coco is a, is a very tough area. Um, it's a poor, low-income area. But, you know, the kids will work. They'll do what you ask them to do. They want to fight. They want to keep trying to better themselves and they're gonna use every method to, to make that happen. We're in a demographic location where the household income is right at 36, 37,000. So we're on, a, we're on a lower end. We use football as an outlet here to, uh, um, to think positive year in and year out. You grew up in this program. How did it impact you? Man, I grew up in Coco. I grew up in a two bedroom house. Four brothers, all five of us stayed in one bedroom. No central air and heat. Box fan in the window, uh, two bunk beds. I chose to sleep on the floor. Um, in high school, this is my sanctuary. We were up in here three or four hours at a time. How you handle adversity helps build character. And where did it take you? Took me to Northeast Louisiana University. Get drafted while playing the National Football League. The league. The league, I know it. But instead of retiring from the NFL to the easy life, James Folston moved back here to inspire the next generation. And so when I come back here, I try to instill some of my life lessons growing up into the kids around here. I make sure I say, when you guys go on and do big and better things, make sure you come back to give back. Either, volunteer, either donate money or volunteer your time. So I'm trying to set an example for that. I mean, I come back, I volunteered over 15,000 hours since I've been here. You have volunteered 15,000 15, hours? 15,000 plus hours since 2009. Why is it important for you to do that? Because. I know what I didn't have access to growing up, because everybody not guaranteed to go to the National Football League. So we still want to instill life skills in these kids. What an amazing spirit. Yeah. I mean, amazing spirit. I not only respect it, but I admire it. Appreciate that. All right, let's do it. Being surrounded by these young men have changed me. How y'all doing? Good. I got to make sure you know, I reach their level because they bring it every day. I do everything I can to help those guys reach their goals. First of all, good morning. Uh, my name's Marty Smith. I am a reporter and host for ESPN. My main life is college football, and that's one reason that I'm here today. I'm here because I want all of you guys to know that you have inspired me. You might go, why, how? I learned about the effort that you guys put in. I learned about the pedigree and the tradition and the passion that you guys have to represent this community. But let me tell you what you don't know. I'm an old man, all right? Someday you're gonna look back and you're gonna realize those people in those stands on Friday nights were living vicariously through us. Describe Friday night here. Oh, it's wild. It's wild. It's, it's a community that loves football, loves the school, and they're passionate. And it's, it's no different than going to uh, an SEC game. You know, you're, there's going to be some awesome things going on in the stands and, and passionate people that really care about uh, Coco High School. Y'all don't know it, but you're carrying the dreams of this town every Friday night when you strap up and you face off against that opponent that wants to take what you've earned. What would a new weight room or updated equipment mean to this program? Uh, we got to change our model. Uh, <laughs> our model next will be we get out of it what we put into it. I've been in the jungle. I've seen that thing. I've seen those broken weights, broken barbells. You guys are special. In so many ways, you guys do so much more with so much less. That is the motto around here. We do more with less. Not anymore. 
as a result of the efforts of a whole lot of people and the inspiration that you guys have given those people. On behalf of Cap Barbell and Academy Sports and Outdoors, I want you guys to know that there's a new jump. Come on, come with me. Everybody is. I love it. I love it. All right, what do you think? It's amazing. I love it. Oh, you see them, boy. All in all. Oh, we can't wait to get in here and look. You never know how somebody's going to react. But y'all reacted the way I wanted you to react. For real. They already talked to you. You don't strike me as a guy that gets very emotional very often, but I'm telling you, when, I, when they walked in here, I turned yeah. around, I might have seen a little it's, mist. It's, it's, it's seeing the kids with that enjoyment, and, and you know, it's a moment they'll always remember. The expression on their face, man, is a win-win situation. We appreciate everything you guys are doing and have done, and it's gonna go a long way. This basically can help out generations, in my opinion. Yeah. Well, I meant what I said out there. You guys have a beautiful spirit. I just am so grateful that I got the opportunity to meet you. I'm a better person for having been here, so thank you guys. When you win the state, I better get a FaceTime from the locker room. Thank you. I love your spirit. Thank you guys. Cheers. Appreciate you. It's not every day you get the chance to improve the lives of generations to come. To have an opportunity in conjunction with Academy Sports and Outdoors to improve the lives of generations to come is an honor beyond words. I am so grateful to be part of the amazing Coco High football tradition. For Academy Sports and Outdoors, I'm Marty Smith, and this is Traditions.